when we really get to a major outbreak, one of the biggest things we need to overcome is just to be okay with each other. and It should increase our humanity, not decrease it. The virus thrives when people get nervous and suspicious and they don't want to come to attention and they don't want people to know. And so how do we overcome that component is going to be a major part of it. If we just get really good at stopping infections, you know, in our neighborhoods and communities, we'll actually already be priming ourselves to stop a major outbreak. For the world to be prepared to respond to a global outbreak, what we need to be able to do is to identify these infections, these emerging threats, as soon as possible, as close to that you know, first case. We want to find patient zero if we can, and then be aware and to be able to respond. During the Ebola outbreak, it took months of the virus circulating in West Africa before it was identified to be Ebola. And during the Zika epidemic, you know, it's believed that it was circulating in the Americas for over a year before it was first identified. What's most remarkable to me about this novel coronavirus um, of 2019 is our response to it, actually. China uh, and the teams there were able to identify the first cases so quickly that by the time they sequenced them, the virus hadn't even really changed that much. And that suggests that we caught it very close to uh, when it first emerged. Right now, they're still talking about a, a you know, hopeful estimate as a vaccine in a year, but when you think about the fact that the Spanish flu circumnavigated the globe and probably caused 25 million deaths in 25 weeks, uh, you, you're not going to want to wait a year for a vaccine. And so uh, there's a lot that still needs to happen to move those things much more quickly through, um, through the pipeline. And that technology is possible. We just need to um, really invest in it. There are still chinks in the armor where we still need to work through a number of issues to move even faster, to communicate even better, to you know, get the global community working together and cooperatively uh, to stop this outbreak from spreading. But the response to the coronavirus has been remarkable and it's been really exciting to see the progress that's being made and the way that the world is communicating much, much better uh, than in the past. I'm hopeful that this virus is just a, a good next practice run, you know, that we can monitor this one and then each time we get better and better at responding.